Alrighty then, our next Pix Teller assignment is going to have to do with image animation. It's not that much different than text animation, but it's just something to uh, practice a little bit here. Um, so here, I've got the handout in front of you right now. I'm going to ask you to create a little image animation that has at least four images in it. All that's spelled out right here. Um, uh, you can when, when you're animating images, I'll get into this in a second, but you can animate their position or their size or their opacity. Uh, there's a lot of different things you could do or any combination of those. So let's kind of take a look at what this looks like. I'm going to go over to Pix Teller and let's catch up on things I've done already. I, you don't need to sit here and watch me make a design. Now one thing I did this time was I changed the size of it. Normally, if you, if you just go to Pix Teller and you create from scratch and you don't change anything, it's going to come up with a 1080 by 1080 square. And I changed it. I, I've, the width is still 1080, but I made the height 500. So the image that you see here is not square this time. It's more of a rectangular kind of thing because that's what I wanted. I changed the background color to black. And I went out, I'm using images as the thing today, right? And I don't really care what images you use. You can just go here to images, you can go to add image, and then you can go, you can use things that come out of the library that's right here in PixTeller if you want to, or you could go over to the upload thing. And and that's actually what I did was, I, I went, they're, they're not showing up here right now on the left hand side, but I went and hunted for pictures of these outer planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, um, uh, no, Uranus and Neptune. So, um, boy, Uranus and Neptune look a lot alike. I don't think they have good pictures of Uranus and Neptune. Anyway, so I've got my four pictures on here. And again, that's, that's, you can kind of start that way. And it, it, it doesn't even matter that much where you put them to begin with because you can change their position when you get, sorry, when you get over to the animation side. You can change it there. So anyway, I've got a design and um, it is uh, put together, right? Cool. All right. So I'm going to go up here to the top right and I'm going to say animate. And I get my timeline here. So the first thing I'm going to do, kind of like yesterday, is that I'm going to um, I'm going to pull these instances, these these rectangular boxes on the timeline. If you're an animator, they, they've always been they're keyframes. If you've heard that term before, that's what they are. Um, but you know, on this particular website, they call them an instance. All right, whatever. Um, so I'm pulling these these rectangular boxes out because what I want to do is it was a, a two second video and I want to make it longer. And so I'm pulling it out. So it's a six second video. Now, again, let's not make them too terribly long today, I don't think. But you can make it longer than two seconds. All right. Now I can add instances in here anytime. And remember these eyeball buttons over here where you can kind of click and and that'll help you know what's what. Um, so I'm going to start by working with Jupiter. And I could click on any point on the timeline here. And I could use the Add Instance button to, to put in. It's like what it, you know, it's like I said, it's a keyframe, basically. So maybe what I'll do here is I'll, I'll go about, about the three second mark. And I'll show you one idea. You can even do this if you want to. I'll go about the three second mark, which is halfway through my video, right? It's a six second video and I will add an instance. Okay, cool. And I'm going to do that on each layer. I'll just go here and I'm going to add an instance for um, Saturn and Uranus and Neptune. Poor Pluto. I didn't include Pluto. Sorry, Pluto. All right. Now, so I've got an instance right there. And, and, and now what I'm going to do, and this, gosh, this is where you just control Z is undo, right? If you do something that you don't like, control Z, undo it and fix it. Um, but I'm, I'm going to go back now here to the very beginning. And on Jupiter, I'm going to set its opacity to zero. So what I should have between the zero mark and the three second mark, I should have a fade in on Jupiter. It fades in. And then from three seconds up to six seconds, it's just there. All right? I'll pause that. Uh, because I had the opacity, I set the opacity at zero here at the beginning. And at this instance, I set the opacity at 
100, right? It, it's at 100. So I'm going to do a similar thing here. I'll go to um, Saturn. And I'm going to set the opacity at zero. I'm going to play with it some more here in a minute. I'll go to Uranus and I'll set the opacity at zero. And I'll go to Neptune and I'll set the opacity at zero. And that's at the beginning. The way I'm doing it, you make up your own idea, right? But at the beginning, I've got the opacities set at zero. Let me play that. Those are all going to fade in. By the time it gets up to three seconds, they're faded in. And for the last three seconds, they just kind of sit there. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and pause that. And then if I wanted to, I could stagger some of these things. Like maybe uh, for uh, Saturn, I'll scoot these instance boxes over a little bit. See what I did? on the Saturn layer. I just scooted them over to the right. So they're not gonna, that's not going to fade in at the same time as Jupiter. It's going to fade in a little bit later. I might bring this one back just a little bit. And maybe I'll, I'll make kind of a stair-steppy kind of thing with these, these instance boxes right here. And then with these instance boxes over here. See that? See how I'm arranging those? And, and so now you're going to get these fade-ins. They're going to be fade-ins. But they are, uh, they're going to be staggered. They're not going to happen at the same time anymore. So I'll come back to the beginning. Let's play that and let's see what Oh, there. Okay, there we go. We get this fade in that works its way from left to right. I think that's kind of cool. Jupiter and then Saturn and then Uranus and then Neptune. Oh, man, look at that. All right. And, and the, only, the only thing I'm even playing with here is... Um, uh, the opacity. I'm going to go ahead and pause, and you could you could do things like, what if I came back here? Let's say I come back here to this instance right here. It's sitting at the 3.5 second mark, and it's Saturn. And what if I made that bigger? Right there. I'm changing the size at 3.5 seconds. So what we ought to get now, we're going to get a fade in, but we're also, I think, going to get a little bit of growth. Saturn is going to kind of grow as the time goes by, because back here at the beginning, Saturn was, is the original size that I put it in there, and then I changed the size of Saturn here at 3.5 seconds. So in between that little span of time, from about yeah, half a second up to 3.5, Saturn's going to get bigger. All right, let's try that. Let's play that. Oh, so Saturn is fading in and grow. Oh, and shrinking back down. Yeah, because at the end, at the last instance, um, Saturn is that original size. So I could, I could again, I'm not going to be upset with with whatever you come up with here today. But I'll, maybe I'll make Saturn a little bit bigger at the end so that Saturn kind of, all right, let's run that one more time. So we're getting that fade in, and Saturn is growing. Cool. And you could also do this. I'm going to pause it, and you could change position of things as well. Let's say that for uh, uh, Jupiter, Saturn, ne uh, Uranus. For Uranus, let's say that at the beginning, you see where it is at the beginning, right? It, and this is about the almost one second mark on the timeline. Uh, that's where that instance is. I'm just going to grab it and move it down here. That's kind of like what I did with my text yesterday. I, what I animated was the position. I made it move. So I'm going to do that here. So, so Uranus is going to rise up into the image and fade in as it comes along. That's kind of fun. All right. So let's go back to the beginning and let's play that. So we got a fade in and Saturn's growing and Uranus is rising up and or Neptune's just fading in and not doing much of anything else. But you know what? We could we could get Neptune involved here. Let's do that. I'm going to go to the six-second mark for Neptune. Poor Neptune. Uh, at the six-second mark, I'm going to set Neptune to be smaller. So what we ought to get is some shrinking... Neptune will fade in and then kind of shrink away a little bit. And let's see if that happens here. Let's let's do that. We get 
some fade in happening and Neptune's going to shrink away at the end. Oh yeah. All right. So really this is not a beautiful animation, but I'm just, you know, I, I'm just working with the timeline and I'm working with these instance boxes and I'm working with things like opacity and position and size. And, you know, with a little imagination, you can make an animation that looks really cool and does some really fun things. Um, for today, I just want you to try and accomplish it. You have to have at least four pictures. Um, let's get them animated somehow, whether they fade in or they fade out or they move around a little bit, or maybe they get bigger, or maybe they get smaller, or gosh, you're, you're not going to break anything if you jump in there and play around and do something. So control Z is undo. Um, so, hey, this is it, right? So I'm going to hit pause. And I'm, I've already got a title on this. I, I titled it earlier. It's called Outer Planets. I'm going to go ahead and click Save to save that document. And then I'm going to Render and Save. This is the final thing you do when you have to turn it in. I'm going to click Render and Save. And this is the part where it takes a little bit of time. Um, depends on, and I said this yesterday, it depends on what device you're using, it depends on your Wi-Fi, you know, how fast it goes, all kind of depends on all those factors. So you may have to wait, you know, go get yourself something to drink or something, and and then by the time you come back, it's probably going to be done. I think mine is going to finish up here pretty quickly, and then what I what I'll be able to do once this is done, tick tock, tick tock. Not that I'm on TikTok, because I'm not. Trust me, I'm not. Almost there. Almost there. And one of the things you'll find that's true is um, <laughs> it's still faster than you can draw it. Uh, one of the things that you'll find is true that when you're doing working with images instead of text, it is going to take longer to render because an image is a more complex object than a, than a text object in, in a program like this. So we're almost there. All right. So now animation has been rendered and I can hit download and down below the, the bottom edge of the animation, it looks kind of cool, doesn't it? Doesn't it look a little bit cool? It looks a little bit cool. Come on. All right, I'm going to go ahead and download it here. An MP4 is just terrific. I'm happy with that. So I'll go ahead and download an MP4. And then you would turn that MP4 file in. If you want to do a GIF, that's okay, too. You can turn in a GIF image. Um, that's it. That is our assignment of the day. Fist bump to you.